Well, hi, I'm Will. Some of you are gonna know that, some of you aren't. Hopefully, future generations will still get to see this video. But I'm doing my video on basic shop safety. Um, first of all, the shop is the most dangerous place in the school. There's things that can cut you, there's things that can break your bones, uh, there's the higher spots that you can fall from and get really messed up, and there's a lot of safety hazards in there. Uh, I know that Chase and Russell did a couple of videos on the shop, and I'm going to do one on gen generic uh, safety. So, to start the shop, most of the time it's going to be locked. We're going to go inside. So, so this, is the, this is the shop. It's raining outside today. The first thing to know when coming into the shop is we're kind of a little messy right now, but there's going to be this whole set area lined up between the two doors that'll be clear. It's completely necessary to always keep this area clear because when we have, if there was to be like a fire or a medical emergency inside the pack, this area is where the emergency services would come through because it has an easy access to the stage with the three garage doors being lined up. It's raining outside. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, um, something to keep in mind is in the shop, whenever you use a power tool or um, like spray paint, so, uh, stuff of that sort that could have like debris that could fly in your face, you could get cut from, you always need to have safety protection. Your eyes, your ears, and your hands. Over here, this is where we keep safety glasses, gloves, hard hats in the back, and right here is where we're going to start keeping our masks. Uh, these are basic stuff. For example, if I used to be over here using the chop saw, I would need to have on my gloves, my eyes, which I don't think we have a set over here right now, but that's what I would need to have. Something else to keep in mind, one of the most strange things that people want to see at this school is the upstairs in the shop. The upstairs in the shop is very, very dangerous because right here, the red bars, those red bars open up and it becomes an opening that you could fall from. There's no fence there to protect you. So in order to go up there, you need to get certified or you need to have someone who is certified with you who gives you permission. Um, also when you're up there, obviously no horseplay, no, don't do anything that can get you knocked down. Um, also in the shop, in the case someone does get hurt, our first aid kit is right by the door. The first aid kit has stuff like gauze, band-aids, it might have some antiseptic patches, I don't know, uh, general stuff like that. If you get a chemical in your eye, over here, it's kind of hard to see right now. But we have the sink, which has an eye wash station, and we have the shower, which is more like a basin that you can use to hose chemicals off yourself. Hopefully you're never in a situation like that, but if you are, it's basic. You just turn it on, put the switch, and it'll come right on. Then you can use it to uh, wipe out your eyes or hose yourself off. God. Other stuff to keep in mind when you're in the shop is when you're in the shop, the ladders that's accessing the wood. Don't be up on the ladders doing anything with the wood if you're in here by yourself. Uh, being in the shop, being with a buddy when you're lifting a heavy stock is completely important or else you could get really hurt and then no one would know about it and then we'd find your dead body and we wouldn't be sad because it's your dead body and you were stupid. Anyways, um, other than that, most everything in the shop next year and hopefully in the future you'll need to get certified in order to use. Um, I'm, with that system being put in place, don't be using the shop and accessing the shop unless you are certified or are, again, with someone who is. Uh, lastly, the last thing I can say about the shop is these garage doors. These garage doors, we use them all the time. They're always open and closing. The thing to remember about the garage doors is there can always be someone on either side of it. The garage door is only open from one side, so before you open the garage, i got to take a little peek. There's no one on the other side of the garage door and there's nothing that could currently be blocking it. This might be in the way, so I'm gonna move it back a couple inches and then I'm gonna go for it. It's just basic, press the open button and it'll go up. Once it hits my desirable position, I hit stop. And when I wanna close it, I just hold the down button and then it'll close. This can crush people. If you get caught on it, hold up, it's all dangerous. Just remember, the shop is the most dangerous place in the school and the most deadly. Anyways, that's shop safety. Make sure that you're safe. Make sure you're using your eyes, ears, and hands. Make sure that you're always with a buddy when you're in the shop.